Myself. Uh, my name is Joseph Rubello. Uh, I've been involved in the martial arts for 53 years. Uh, I hold black belt or instructor certification in 23 martial arts uh, Chinese, Okinawan, Japanese, Korean, Filipino, Indonesian, and American martial arts. Uh, again, I started getting involved in the art of Tai Chi in 1979. My instructor is Edwin Jada, and then SMU, and I do the art. Uh, teaching for the train and his Kung Fu Tai Chi Wu-Tang Clan. Yes, I am a real member of the Wu-Tang Clan. Not at the rap bands, you might not get that joke, but uh, uh, the Wu-Tang means martial art. And one of the main disciplines taught to that group is the art of Tai Chi. Tai Chi is an ancient northern martial art designed to on health, well-being, and longevity. We say adding years to your life and life to your years. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm basically going to go through a Tai Chi class. Now, you can also watch the format of this class through DCTV and also their YouTube channel and also the YouTube channel for the Dartmouth Council on Aging. It goes over the basic format. It will be of great assistance to you. Now we're going to be starting up our Tai Chi classes on August 10th. It's every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, I also do private lesson instruction seven days a week, morning, afternoon, and evening at my studio at Rebellos Kempo Karate at 88 Hatch Street in New Bedford at the Hatch Street Studios. But now, without further ado, let me introduce you to Tai Chi. At the beginning of class, we come to attention, eBay. Now, eBay is not just electronic auctions, it also means in Chinese to come to attention. At the beginning of class, when we bow, a simple phrase, Shi Fu Hao. Shi Fu means teach your father. The Chinese martial arts work on the family unit. Father, mother, older brother, younger brother, older sister, younger sister, cousins, uncles, aunts, etc. The keystone to our life, our ability, to exist is breathing. Learning how to breathe or to control our breath, to slow our breathing down. The more that we can control our breath, we lower our heart rate, we lower our blood pressure, we become more calm, more tranquil, more serene. As I deal with my senior citizens, and again, I was working one day with my instructor and I was like, I don't know if I want to use that term. He says, I'm your instructor, aren't I? I went, yes. Am I not senior to you? Oh, yes. <laughs> what is, and you know, one time one of my instructors, I actually trained with the men who taught Elvis Presley and Wayne Newton. And my instructor, Ed Parker, his, his official title was Senior Grandmaster. So what does senior equal? Wisdom, knowledge, and that's the key. So we're going to learn a classic phrase that we learned from days of yesteryear, to quote the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Take a deep breath, count to 10 before you do anything. Why? Because as you counted to 10, you would subconsciously coordinate the counting with your breathing patterns. And what would happen is your breathing would slow and you would become more calm and relaxed. So, the first thing we're going to do is learn how to breathe. You're going to say, I've been around for quite a few years, I think I know how to do it pretty good. But we're just going to teach you how to control your breathing. We're going to take both our hands, we're going to close them lightly into fists, first knuckles, second knuckles, and place our thumbs on our sides. And what we're going to do, actually we'll place them on top of the fist, and we're going to place them palm facing in at the Dan Tien, the golden furnace, a golden stove, which is located below the navel, above the groin, at the center of the hip girdle. Now, right from here, place our two hands together like so. Now, we're gonna relax our chest and we're gonna breathe from our abdomen. Everybody looks at the Buddha with the big belly and says, boy, he must eat really well. No, he breathes even better. So you're gonna breathe, you're gonna allow the abdomen to expand as you inhale and you're gonna draw your abdomen in as you exhale. So as you inhale, the abdomen relaxes and expands. As you exhale, it contracts. So let's try it out. Now, here's the key ingredient. You're gonna inhale through your nose. You're gonna exhale through your nose. 
The Chinese say the nose is for breathing, the mouth is for eating. You'll place the tip of your tongue lightly on the roof of your palate. Allow saliva, the jade elixir, to form on the underside of your palate. Let's try it out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Now keeping your hands there at the Dantian, we're now going to work on two of the Taoist healing sounds. The ancient Taoist monks who formulated the art of Tai Chi looked at the way the body cleanses itself of congestion, infection, and illness. Well, the two of the basic ways that we do it as human beings are sneezing and coughing. So they created these breathing exercises to simulate the various actions. The first sound we're going to utilize is the sound, hmm. Let's all try that together. One, two, three, hmm. Right, normally it's like, hmm, fine, be that way. But in this case, it's designed to clear our sinus and nasal passageways. We wish if we were, could if we were congested to reach up, pull out our sinuses, rinse them on the sink, squeeze them like a sponge, maybe throw them in the microwave to dry them off for a couple seconds and put them back in. We don't have that luxury. So we utilize the sound to clear our airways. Now make sure you might need a, a Kleenex nearby to hmm to come all over the front. Yes, it does happen on occasion, but it's designed to do what? Clear the airways. So place both your hands at the Dantian. We're gonna inhale deeply, and then when we exhale, we're gonna press lightly on the Dantian, kind of stoking the furnace, as it were, with the sound, hmm. Let's try that out. One, two, three, hmm. Again, one, two, three, hmm. Right, one, two, three, hmm. There you go. Very good, so it teaches you how to breathe. So we're gonna do it nice and slow. So we're gonna inhale deeply. Exhale, hmm. Inhale. Exhale, hmm. Once more, inhale. Exhale, hmm. Very good. The second sound is just as important. It's designed to cleanse the lowest sections of the lungs. Now, if you're a former or present smoker or you're a former or present asthmatic, again, Tar and nicotine hangs on the bottom sections of the lungs, gravity works, and of course, if you're asthmatic, you may have scarring on your lungs. So you wanna to try to get as much as you can at every breath you take. Now for that, we're going to use the sound, ha! Huh! Did I scare you, Victor? Sorry about that. I'm a pretty frightening guy when I do that stuff. It's all that martial arts, ha! Huh! Any of that stuff, but. But in this case, it's designed to cleanse the lowest sections of the lungs. We talk about the original analogy with the sponge. I wish I could rinse it out, squeeze, tuck them back in. I can't. But this exercise will help you. So let's try it. Let's try that sound out. Ready? One, two, three. Ha! One, two, three. One, two, three. Stop laughing at me. I'm a nice guy. What's up? But that's the sound. And again, I always say it's, you know, it's a wonderful cleansing action. Place your, both your hands at the Dantian. We're going to inhale deeply. Exhale. Ha! Inhale. Exhale. Ha! Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Ha! Now that's okay, right? It's all based on how far I can inhale. And again, you learn to control. That's another important ingredient. We're gonna learn how to lengthen our inhalation, lengthen our exhalation. One of my Kung Fu instructors many years ago was going through a massive heart attack. So he goes to the hospital and tells them, I'm going through a heart attack. They have him sit in a lounge. When they finally bring him in, they're like, oh my gosh, you're going through a massive heart attack. He goes, I told the nurse that, but, but you didn't have the look. What look? To look like you were going to die. I said I was busy doing my breathing, so I wouldn't. <laughs> Just in case you forgot me. Exactly, and they had, and it was like, you know. So. Now, from here we're going to work on our next section is very important, the keystone to balance. As we all get older, and no one's exempt, and if you are, I want to see the note, and more importantly, I want to see who signed it. 
But as we deal with occasional bouts of dizziness, vertigo, different elements like this, one of the first things you should learn how to do, simply state when you're going through any of these actions is three simple words. Bend your knees. The moment you bend your knees, you become more rooted, more stable, more secure. That's the key. So with our feet together, what we're gonna do, we're gonna inhale deeply. I'm gonna exhale and sink. Just bend your knees. Have a pull up a stance and sit down. That's the key. Now, our next section is from keep your knees bent, keep them sink, sink. Now, right from here, you're gonna take your left foot, you're gonna shift your weight onto your right leg. I'll act as a mirror image. Lift your left foot up on toe and step out a little wider than shoulder width apart. This is our basic horse stance or horse riding stance. Chinese, we also call it the Wu Qi, the primordial energy uh, position. Now, from here, we're going to work on our next section, which is warm up and body loosening exercises. Now, these are all based on semicircular and full circular motion on the major joints of your body. They are a slow, passive circular motion designed to increase your range of motion and overall flexibility. So our first exercise is called neck turns, and I'm gonna act as a mirror image. So we're slowly gonna turn our head to the left, pause, and slowly turn our head to the right. And now turn your head back to center for a moment. So every time I turn my head to the right, I'm gonna count from one to 10 in Mandarin Chinese. One to 10 in Mandarin is as follows. Yi, er, sang, Su Wu Liu Chi Ba Jo Shur. And I can tell one of my students is, is counting, so she's and everybody says the same thing when they first hear that. I'll never be able to remember that. <laughs> well, if you do it 9,047 times, you'd be shocked and amazed what you remember. There are also four tones, but to paraphrase the bandito from Treasure of the Sierra Madre, tones, we don't use no stinking tones. We just say it monotone to make it easier because there's an ascending tone, a descending tone, a monotone, and a looping tone. Well, we're not gonna need tones. So just follow along with me, say the word after me in Chinese, and before you know it, after 9,043 classes, you'll remember the numbers too. Follow along with me, slowly turn your head to the left. Pause, that's not a number. Slowly to your right. Repeat after me. Yi. Yee. To your left. Pause. To your right. Er. er. To your left. Pause. To your right. Song. Song. To your left, pause, to your right, Su. to your left, pause, to your right, Wu. to your left, pause, to your right, Liu. to your left, Pause to your right. Chi to your left. Pause to your right. Ba to your left. Pause to your right. Jo to your left. Pause to your right. Sure. Sure. And back to center. Hope that wasn't too difficult. Let's go on to our next exercise, shoulder circles. Now we want to relax our arms completely. One of the key ingredients to the art of Tai Chi is relaxation. We want to eliminate tension from our body. We want the classic phrase, no stress, no strain, no tension, no pain. I'm a poet, didn't even know it. <laughs> so you're gonna relax your arms completely at your sides. You're gonna isolate your shoulders. And you lift your shoulders up, around and down, rolling forward toward me. We'll do 10 repetitions. Let's begin. Yee, 
Sang Su Wu Liu Chi Ma Jo Shu Now the opposite of forward is Really? <laughs> exactly. So now we're going to go backwards or in reverse and we'll lift it up, around, back, and down. Let's begin. Feel right? Some mornings you get up and you feel like a breakfast cereal. You know, snap, crackle, pop, right? Let's begin. Ye er sa. Your arms hang down. Ma. If you're doing this, you're doing too much work. Jo. Sure. Right. The key ingredient is let your arms hang loose. If you're doing this, you're doing too much work. <laughs> like ribbons in the breeze. Right. And that's the key. We just want to relax. For the ladies in over Berlin, it may be a little provocative, but uh, <laughs> the key ingredient though is to roll and relax. Now, our next section, our next exercise is known as arm circles. And it's really more than just an arm circle. It's actually the entire body rising and sinking. Allow me to demonstrate. So I'm gonna bend my knees. I'm gonna place both my hands, open hand to Dantian. Now you wanna move a little bit further apart because you're gonna bring all the way around. You don't wanna slap or high five the person next to you. <laughs> so what I would recommend is every other person, all you gotta do, Victor, 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 Victor. I know she should control you in life. Today is different. Step forward. Oh, okay. Step forward. Now, what happened? I didn't come prepared for this. This is surprise for me. You're doing great, Victor. <laughs> Victor, why would I lie to you? Take one step forward. That's it. Right. Hey, Victor, quick question. You doing anything that's difficult so far? No, no, no. Isn't it great? No, no. That's I'm the easy part. Cool. There you go. All right, we're just keeping light. All right, so I'll watch the arm circle. So from here, my knees are bent. Now I'm going to inhale. As I inhale, I'm going to bring my hands directly up along the center line. I'm going to straighten my knees. I'm going to rise up. I'm going to reach. I'm going to stretch. And then I'm going to turn my hands palm out and I'm just going to bring my hands down to my sides and back to the Dantian. That's it. So let's try it out. Ready? Inhale, rising up. Turn your hands and ye. Now we're going to do the reverse motion. Now we're going to bring our hands up and we're going to try to grab as much air as we can. And then we're going to turn our hands palm in, relax our shoulders, anchor our elbows, and bring our hands straight down to the Dantian, reversing the circle. Take your time through the actions. Let's begin. It's okay if it rings, it rings. No problem. No biggie. 
If it was in the, if it's in our room, then I'd say, I normally tell people, but shut off your phones and vibrate. But we're out here in the park, no big deal. Inhale. Yeah. Err. Song. Su. Once more. Sure. And relax. Our next exercise is known as wrist circles. If you suffer from arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, carpal tunnel syndrome, this will be a wonderful exercise that will help increase your range of motion and your flexibility and overall health in your wrists and hands. All we're going to do, you place your two hands together in a prayer position. I always like to say the Tai Chi prayer. I pray I can do Tai Chi every day. And we're going to bring our hands palm facing out. And we're going to point our fingertips forward, down, in, and up. Right. Again, I always say be like the phone company. Keep in touch. <laughs> so you want to make sure your hands stay in contact with one another. So you bring your hands out and forward. Yee. San Su Wu Liu Chi Ma Jo Very good. Now we'll reverse the circles. We're going to open up our hands like we're reading a book, looking at the palms of our hands. And all we're going to do, we're going to point inward toward ourselves. Me, 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 me. Back of hand to back of hand. Point down, out, and up. Like I said, keep in touch, right? Open your hands, open the book, and let's begin. Ye. Er. Sa. Su Wu Liu Chi Ma Jo Our next exercise we call waist twist. And I'm already, always reminded of that great martial arts epic, The Karate Kid 2, where young Daniel san goes with Mr. Miyagi to Okinawa and he learns about the drum technique. And next class I'll bring one with me for our first class. And it's a little drum with two little strings and two little circular hammers on a stick. And you roll it back and forth, boom, 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 boom. And in this case, the drum's gonna be our body and the hammer is going to be our arms. And all we're going to do, we're going to turn our head, twist our waist, swing our arms, and bend our elbows, wrapping them around our body and massaging our abdomen. This also helps increase your range of motion. Now, it's very important. You want to turn your head from side to side. I don't want to see this. <laughs> and you're looking straight ahead. So you may want it the whole spine, upper, middle, and lower. And this helps very much if, you, if you're trying to realign your spine or increase your, your flexibility, range of motion, and the fluidity in your spinal column. So we're going to let our arms hang down to our sides. We're going to start off to our right. 
So follow along with me. This is called Waist Twist. And uh, I'm always reminded there's another f f wonderful feature. One of my favorite uh, classic films is uh, a little movie called 55 Days of P Peking. Starring Charlton Heston, Ava Gardner, and the classic British actor David Niven. And in the film, as David Niven, as the head of the British consulate and contingent, presents himself for the Empress Dowager, he takes off his plumed hat, crosses it behind himself, takes his other arm, puts it in front of his, and does a formal bow to, his, to Her Majesty. And again, that's where our position is going to be. So you want your elbow behind you to wrap across the back of your spine. You want your elbow to bend and wrap across the front of you, across your abdomen. Last one, that master of martial arts, Benny Goodman. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that. And that's what we're doing. So let's, <laughs> let's get into the swing, shall we? Yee, er, song, su, woo, turn your head, liu, chi, ma, jo, sure. Now, this is not only a wonderful spinal column exercise, this is not only a wonderful abdomen exercise, the ancient Taoists also referred to this as colon cleansing. If you're constipated or, or feeling, you know, um, a little gassy, again, this helps cleanse your, your, your intestinal tract. And again, it also is a wonderful way to improve the circulation in your extremities. Our final warm-up exercise today is knee circles. Now, does anyone here have a knee replacement or knee surgery? No? Okay. Not yet. Yeah, the classic, the classic, the classic senior said, not yet. Right, exactly. In today's day and age, amen. You're going to place your two hands on your thighs. You're going to bend your knees. Now, watch. I'm going to do just a little, small, slow circle. Right, you see aerobics class, go, hi, my name is Buffy, I'm 21 years old, I only have 3% body fat, I wouldn't know fat on my body if it jumped me in, in the dark alley. And they'll say, okay, we're going to do our deep knee bends, and we're going to do a big, we're going to do a great big, big circle. And some of my students say, I look at, they look at that and go, if I did that, I'd die. My knee replacement would pop off, and I'd be in a fetal position clutching my kneecap. So rather, we want to do a slow, relaxed, circular motion. Again, no stress. No strain, no tension. What's the last one? No pain. no pain. So bend your knees slightly. Small circular motion off to your right. E er, To your left. E er, san, su, wu, liu, chi, ma, jo. So those are the warm-up and body loosening working on all the major joints. Our neck, our shoulders, our waist, our hips, our knees, and including our ankles. Again, our elbows, our wrists, and even fingers on our hand. At this point, we then go into our Qi Kong breathing exercises. Qi is the vital essence of life, air. Your ability to control and regulate your breathing, as we spoke about earlier, is a critical ingredient to your longevity and vitality, adding years to your life and life to your years. Kung or Gong, like the term Kung Fu, or if you, if some of you, may, if you ever watched the old uh, short-lived TV series with Bruce Lee, The Green Hornet, because it was Cantonese, the K sound is pronounced like a G sound, say Gong Fu. Gong Fu is Gong Fu. 
Kung Fu or Kung Fu does not mean martial arts. It doesn't mean self-defense. It means time, hard work, and acquired skill. You can be a Kung Fu cook. You could be a Kung Fu tailor. You could be a Kung Fu garbage man. Oop. Sanitation engineer. But think of anything that you do well. It took time to learn how to do it. You had to work hard at it to become good at it, and then you had an, a, an acquired skill. That's Kong. So Qi Kong is basically breathing exercises. Now, first exercise is known as the Ho Tai, one in harmony with the universe. You may occasionally see a statue of a Buddha with its arms up raised up over its head. Perhaps his head tilted and a content smile on its face. Maybe a hole where you put the straw for the drink. Okay. That's known as the Ho Tai. Ho, harmony. Tai, the universe. One in harmony with the universe. This exercise is also known as pressing the pillar or the, the pillar of heaven. And this is a great breathing exercise and a great stretching exercise. So we're going to put both our hands, palm up, fingertips pointing toward one another, yet not touching. And we're going to inhale slowly, bring our hands up. Then we're going to turn our hands over on the side of our head, palms facing up toward the heavens. We're going to reach up, reach, extend, and stretch. We're going to turn our hands, palm in, like we're doing a chin up. And we're going to inhale, and we're going to pull our elbows back, stretching our chest and shoulders. And we're going to turn our hands, palm down, and push down like we're pushing against the armrests of those wonderful chairs that are here today. When I do this exercise, I'm reminded of that great pillar and staunch reference for Qigong, Romper Room. How many of me remember that? Bend and stretch. Reach for the stars. Who can complete it? Here, here comes Jupiter. There goes Mars. And it's a basic fundamental stretch. That's okay if you didn't watch Rise, don't you? I say magic mirror and you go, what the heck is that? Yeah, but, but again, the key ingredient is a wonderful stretching exercise. We only do five repetitions. So follow along with me. Let's go to work. Inhale. Exhale, stretch. Inhale. Exhale, press. Yi. Er. Song. <laughs> Sue. Our second exercise is called pressing the pillars, and we're going to place both our hands together in a prayer position, and we're going to inhale deeply. Now, I recommend, Victor, take a step forward, dear lady. Take a step forward. The lady in white, your name, please? Oh, Judy. 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 Hi, Judy. Yeah, just take a step forward, because what we're going to do, we're going to reach out with our hands to the side. I don't want you high-fiving the person next oh. to you, being <laughs> so you want to make sure. So you're going to place two hands together like so. Victor's going, maybe I want it to baby, bitch, baby, baby, you know? All right, we're going to inhale deeply. Exhale, reach, extend, and stretch. And just out to your sides. Inhale. Yi. Er. Song. Sue. Once more.
and woo and relax. Our next exercise is called the Tai Chi Balloon. And I want to visualize we're holding a balloon in our hands. Fingers spread, you have fingertips not touching. And we're going to inhale and the balloon's going to inflate. And then we're going to relax and we're going to let the exhale and the balloon's going to deflate back to its original position. Let's begin. Inhale. Yi. Er. Song. Su. Woo. Very good. And relax. Our next exercise is called Lion Playing with the Ball. And if you ever see in May, kind of made temples in uh, different locations, you may see a, a set of lion dogs, foo dogs. One has, the female has its paw on a cub. The male has its paw on a large sphere or ball. And I'm going to visualize we're holding a ball in our hands. And our right hand is palm down and our left hand is palm up, holding the ball. And as we inhale, we're going to circle our hands all the way to the exact opposite position. And then, as we exhale, we're going to circle our hands back. Now, I'm acting as a mirror image. Right now, you want your right hand palm down and your left hand palm up. Okay? Let's try it out. Inhale. Exhale. Yi. Er. Song. Su. Wu. And relax. Our next exercise was an exercise taught to me by Chinese martial arts master, Dr. Yang Juing Min. He's a world-renowned expert in the field of Chinese martial arts, also in Qigong. And um, I interviewed him for my television show, which you can see on YouTube, as well as uh, local cable systems like uh, DCTV, uh, called Martial Arts Today TV. And um, we were talking about Qigong, and he had a woman come in, and she was suffering horribly from arthritis. All of her first and second knuckles on her fingers were all swollen. They hadn't gotten quite to deformity yet, but they were all inflamed. And she said to him, is there anything you can teach me to help me with my arthritis? He said, yes, I can teach you. Uh, there's one particular exercise I can teach you, but if you really want to benefit from it, you have to literally do 50 repetitions of this exercise every day if you really want to get some benefit out of this. So she agreed, and the exercise he taught was called the opening and closing of the lotus. And again, if you want to see what a lotus is, go to Buttonwood Park, look out on the pond. A lotus is nothing more than a water lily. So a water lily or a lotus, when it feels the rays of the sun, the petals slowly open to accept the rays of the sun, kind of like a morning glory. And then at night, it, it slowly closes. So that's the concept we're going to do. And we're going to learn to breathe through our fingertips. So when we inhale, and we're going to exhale, we're going to spread our fingers as far apart as we can. Stretch them out, reach, extend, feel the stretch. And then as you inhale, relax, and slowly bring them back together. Now, not only will this increase your range of motion and flexibility in your fingertips, it will also increase your circulation. You've heard that classic phrase, cold hands warm heart. No, cold hands, bad circulation. Now, if you do this exercise correctly, if you look at your hand at the end of the exercise, you'll see a, a reddish flush because you'll increase the circulation and the blood flow to your extremities. Let's try it out 10 times. Fingertips together. Inhale deeply. Exhale open. Inhale. Yi. Er. Song. S. 
to, and we'll just go halfway there, one more repetition. Whoa, and you really want to feel that stretch and bring it back in and relax. These are simple exercises you can do anywhere. You can do them sitting in a chair, laying in bed, whatever, wherever. That's the beauty of this. With a lion playing with the ball, one of my students say, I do this when I'm at a red light and sometimes I'll do the exercise. I will hopefully not on the highway. You know, again. <laughs> Now, our final warm-up, our final Qigong exercise is uh, known as roll back and push. Now we're going to do lower body Qigong, working our legs and extremities. I'm going to teach you two stances. The first one is called the bow and arrow. It is what it says it is. You're going to step forward. For those of you, who are, some of you do yoga, you may know this as the warrior pose, a warrior posture. So you're going to step forward with your right foot. We're going to play the hokey pokey. I'll do, I'll do the mirror image. Right foot, right foot forward. There you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to put both our hands in front of us at a diagonal angle in a push position. We're going to relax our wrists. We're going to lift our arms straight up, just like the Frankenstein monster. <laughs> Ever notice how he slumped like sliced alone? <laughs> right? You're going to bend your elbows. You're going to roll back to the seven star stance. Walk like an Egyptian. You're going to lift your fingertips up. You're going to bring your hands down to your waist. Then you're going to bend your knee and you're going to push forward. So I'm gonna rise up, roll back, and I'm rolling back on the heel of my front foot, straightening my front leg. This is called the seven star stance. I'm gonna lift my fingertips up, my hands are gonna come down, and I'm gonna bend my knee forward to the bow and arrow. So rise up, roll back, sink down, push forward. Rise up, not too high, roll back, sink down, Push forward. It's like the waves of the ocean. The wave rises, it crests, it crashes upon the beach, and recedes back into the ocean. We call this the microcosmic orbit, a small circular path. And relax. Now step back with your right foot, step forward with your left foot. This movement is called withdraw and push, and both of these movements are taught in the Tai Chi form. Place your hands out in front of you. So again, we're gonna relax our wrists. We're gonna lift our arms straight up from the shoulders. Then we're gonna bend our elbows and we're gonna roll back on the heel of our front foot, bending our rear knee, straightening our front leg. This is stretching the calf muscle on our front leg. We bring our hands down and then we push forward. So we rise up, we withdraw, we sink down, we push forward. Rise up, withdraw, Sink down, push forward. One more time. Rise up, withdraw, sink down, push forward, and relax. In the short time I have remaining, um, I don't have time to teach you the Tai Chi form, but I would like to demonstrate the form for you so you have a preview of what's yet to come. So please have a seat, relax. There are several different forms of the art of Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi, again, we talked about earlier, earlier, the universal totality. Sometimes you'll see it listed as the grand ultimate. Chuan means fist. It's a reference to pugilism. It's a martial art, after all, uh, though it's an internal art, but there are many practical applications. But the key ingredient about Tai Chi, it's, some people refer to it as meditation in motion. It's slow motion movement. Trees do not sprout overnight. Flowers do not bloom in an instant. Everything takes time. So too it is with the art of Tai Chi. Each one of the movements in the Tai Chi form is named. The names are either decorative or descriptive. The descriptive ones, they are what they say they are. Press, roll back, push. To quote the late great George Carlin, you don't have to be Fellini to figure those out. The others are based on Chinese legend and folklore or Broadway musicals. Sunrise, sunset, grasp the swallow's tail. White snake sticks out its tongue, brushing the horse's mane. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Allow me to demonstrate for you the 24 movement Wu's abstracted Tai Chi form. Now, in the form, you're only going to take one step to your right and nine steps to your left. It's a linear form because in northern China, they have, as the Old West says, wide open spaces. 
allow me to demonstrate. We begin with a cleansing breath. Small bow of respect. Inhale. Exhale and sink. Open. Beginning of the Tai Chi form. Sunrise, sunset. Grasp the swallow's tail. Ward off. White snake sticks out its tongue. Brushing the horse's mane. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. Press. Roll back. Push. The great circle. Single whip. Fishtail blocks. Yi. Er. Sa. Brush knee, press forward. Playing the guitar. Brush knee, press forward right. Brush knee, press forward left. Brush knee, press forward right. Playing the guitar. Brush knee, press forward right. Snake climbs up a tree. Deflect downward, intercept, and punch. Withdraw and push. Cross hands. Conclusion of the Tai Chi form and bow.
And there you have it, the Tai Chi form. In China, not only does the audience applaud the performance, but the performers applaud the audience in the response. <laughs> Thank you. That is the art of Tai Chi. So uh, again, uh, we'll be starting our new classes on August 10th, every night, every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Um, we're very proud to say we've been at the uh, Dartmouth Council on Aging for over 30 years. Uh, again, uh, I, I do ask one simple request. Sylvia, before you run off, can you do me a favor? Can you sign a piece of paper just to let me know you were here? Uh, yeah, that, that's all I ask. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, uh, I have one wonderful student way back in, in, the, in the corner there. How many years have you been with me, roughly? Six years. Way. <laughs> Way. Six years. Right, you don't think about it, right? You're like, ah, I have a couple of years. No, you've been with six years, you know. But um, again, ask her about her experiences. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, my name is Joe Rebello. You can find me on YouTube. Uh, I am known through the internet in the martial arts world as Kenpo Joe. I'm Kenpo Joe. Google me, baby. Bing me later. Uh, I have uh, two TV shows, uh, Martial Arts Today Television, Rebello's Kenpo Karate, on nine major cable systems and YouTube exclusive extended episodes. Um, I was joking around. If you, can't, if, if, you, if you can't find me on the internet, you're not looking. I'm all over the place. Um, my last name is Rebello. R-E-B-E-L-O. R -E -B -E -L -O. I'm a rebel. Add an O. On the L's, it's one, not two, not two, but one. And my family's too poor to afford two L's. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, if you have any questions regarding Tai Chi whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask. And uh, hopefully, if all goes well, if you take, just take a moment, just so uh, we can have an idea how many people showed up for the demonstration today, I'd appreciate it. And also, if you're interested in classes, I'll also leave your number and we'll contact you and remind you about the opening of the classes. So, when Say again? I'm sorry, is your class in New Bedford? Or? No, Dartmouth Council on Aging. That's why we're here. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> but I also, I also teach in New Bedford, by the way, uh, for because the students interested, we also teach at the New Bedford Council on Aging at Buttonwood Park. I actually have to contact them today to see when we're starting at that location again. And we also do private lessons seven days a week, morning, afternoon, evening at Rebellis Kempo Karate, located at the Hatch Street Studios, 88 Hatch Street in New Bedford. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. At the end of class, we say a simple phrase. She she. She she means thank you. She she ni. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your effort. And buka chi. You're welcome. You're welcome for the training, instruction. And we already stuck each other with a round of applause. So until next time, when next we meet, hopefully, shazhen. <laughs>